everybody and welcome back to Art of La Carte. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic setup for a dragon head for those who are maybe just beginning or starting out. And then for those who want a little bit more advanced tips and tricks and all that, how to customize your dragon to make them look unique and special and interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is to build up the actual shape of my dragon head. Now, because dragons can come in any shape, size, variance, this is completely up to interpretation, but I usually pick some sort of real animal base. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video, but for this one, I'm going to use my horse head shape. So for those of you who have watched any of my how to draw horse videos, probably will recognize some of these shapes. I use a couple of circles for the main head and the muzzle. I'm not trying to get into the detail yet, just to get the shape blocked out. Now this is where it can be kind of fun. So for this one, I decided as I began to work on the facial features, I started with the eyes, and I decided instead of making them like I normally draw a dragon eyes, which if you want to see some of my dragon videos. I'll leave a link to those at the end of this video. You can check them out. But I decided to give it larger eyes. So I sketched those out a little bit bigger than I normally would and then began working down on the nose. Now you're going to notice that as I started sketching the nose, I just stopped and then went and started working on the ears. And the reason I did that is because sometimes as we're creating something out of our imagination, we might not know exactly how we want it to look. And so I always say, if you don't know yet, maybe it's on a design feature or a color, work on something else in the drawing. So I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted the mouth to look. So instead I jumped over to drawing the ears. Now, quick note about the ears that I drew is I decided I wanted to give them kind of these big kind of bat ears almost. And again, I'll talk a little bit of why I chose these features a little bit later in the video, but I put the bat ears on first. And while I was doing that, I kind of thought about what I wanted for the mouth. And when I kind of figured that out, then I went back to begin drawing in the mouth of my dragon. There's no like step one, step two, step three. You have to do it in this exact list of order. You can jump around all you want on your drawing. So why did I choose the features that I did? These big eyes, bat ears, and this kind of mouth that I chose. And that comes into the play of designing your dragon to be unique and special. And one way to do that, if you find that you're, you know, you always draw the same thing, but it looks like the same thing over and over and over is to pick a theme. So if you think about when you are creating dragons or some sort of monster or made up animal, a really great way to get some ideas is to base it off of a real life animal or a mixture of real life animals. And then think about what features those animals have to survive in the habitat that they live in. So if you chose like a desert dragon, you might want to think of features that desert animals have. For this one, I wanted to make it a deep cave dragon, like one of those caves that are like miles into the earth that there's just no sunlight or hardly any light gets into them. And what would these dragons look like? So they'd be a little bit more reptilian, more like lizardy, I guess. Because <laughs> I mean, dragons, if you think about it, there are more of like the the lion dragons, there's more of a kind of dinosaur looking dragons, there's bird like dragons, um, any type of dragon, there's anything you want to create, you can make a dragon out of, which is one of the reasons I love to draw dragons so much is because you can really interpret them any way you want. They're so much fun to work with. But because I chose a dragon that would live in something that's really dark and probably kind of wet and slimy. I really went with some of the features that I would see in creatures that live in super dark places or hidden away. And so one of them would be really large eyes because if there is any light in the area, they want to be able to take in all the light they possibly can. So I gave my dragon some really, really big eyes. That's also one of the reasons that I decided to go with the really big bat ears because any sound that that dragon is going to hear. The bigger the ears, the better for it to hear with. So gave it those bad ears. And then the mouth itself, I realized its food source would probably be slimy as well. So like eating salamanders or fish that live in the little bits of streams that are underground. So I gave it this beak that has kind of barbs on it. So when it grabs its prey, it can hold on to any kind of slimy little creature. The last thing you can think about when creating or designing a creature is color choices. Sometimes we're just tempted to pick our favorite color and color everything that, or to pick a common color 
that we always see related to whatever we're drawing, a brown dog or a white horse or whatever that is. So changing those things up can add a little spice and zest into your drawing. For this one, I chose kind of a grayish green blue with a hint of like pink highlights coming in from like the ears and the little back spines and all that. So, so have fun creating and designing your own dragons. Sometimes while you use this creative process, your dragons will turn out awesome. Other times, not so awesome, but that's just part of the creative process. I would love to see what kind of dragons you create. So if you post them onto social media, make sure to tag me in your photos on Instagram or Twitter. I'll leave links to all of my social media in the description box below. If you want to check out some of the other videos that I have specifically how to draw dragons or maybe even how to draw horse videos, I have a whole bunch of playlists that you can find in my video archives, but I'll have a couple suggested right here that you can go ahead and jump over and check out as well. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, thanks for drawing with me. God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye!